What is going on, guys? It is Rocker X Extra Card here bringing you a pay per view prediction video for Elimination Chamber, and it's going to be Caitlyn versus Tamina Snuka. Now, where the hell has this match come from? Because I don't know. Maybe I have bad memory, like always, and I just can't remember this rivalry at all. But I didn't even know this this shit was happening, to be quite honest, until I saw a WWE post up on Facebook about it. I was like, this match is happening? Wow. Never knew that. Uh, the WWE has done a very poor job with the Divas division, division, you know, advertising this match. But like, then again, why advertise a match that, you know, you're only going to have about three minutes to, you know, have? I mean, the match is going to be shorter than this video, most likely. The official match will be less than this official video. Um... So, I really can't say much about this, because I, from what I think and know, Caitlyn is, like, being pushed as that diva girl, that, you know, that, that cute face of the WWE, and um, I doubt WWE's gonna have Tamina Snuka, you know, get the championship, even though her last name, Snuka, gives big, big, and I mean a big name for her, and you know, a big boost up, but then again, I don't think kids these days know who Jimmy Snuka was, so I really can't, you know, say much about that either, but what I think is going to happen is basically Caitlyn is going to win in a two-minute match, the crowd isn't really going to be interested at all, I'm probably going to be taking a piss, and I know that, the, the whole bathroom break thing for the Tivas division, again, you know, it's, just, it's getting kind of old, but you know, it's it's the truth sometimes. I mean, when a dude needs to take a piss, he's most likely going to do it during a Divas match where they know something crazy is going to happen. It's not like during the Divas match, The Undertaker is going to return and choke slam Caitlyn to hell or um, Brock Lesnar is going to come out and F5 these people. Nothing big is going to happen in the Divas division, and that's probably why the Divas division is really lacking at the moment, because they don't have those what's going to happen next moments. Like, like in the main event, I'm always wondering, is Undertaker going to return during this main event? Is Undertaker going to return? Uh, in matches, I always have, a, like, you know, I'm looking for this top guy who's going to come out and, you know, make the show better, but... For this Divas division, they don't have that top person that makes the person, you know, be interested. And that's why they probably call it the bathroom break for the pay-per-views. And that's probably what I'm going to be using it if I need to, you know, take a piss. But then again, I may just be, like, joking with you guys. But it's nothing against the women. It's that WWE creative directors are the ones that do this to the Divas division. Because they don't want them to look better than the guys. They don't want them to look better than, let's say, the Great Khali. They don't want the Divas to look better than the Great Khali. So, yeah. Caitlyn is my pick, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Rocker XXL.